Welcome to another episode of the Recharge Podcast. This is segment nine of the Bedroom Hero behind the bedroom door. And I just want to kind of wrap things up here in a summary fashion and just share some uh, information uh, with you. So I want to start with a quote that I heard from an uh, entrepreneur, billionaire, and it had basically discussed excuses. Excuses is a mindset used by those who are focused on themselves and their inability to solve the problem. It has nothing to do with reality and doesn't prove anything. And I think that's applicable for a variety of reasons in the context of, of what we're talking about in this series of Bedroom Hero, and that a one-size solution isn't for everybody. I see a lot of men that are frustrated that they've tried things before and it hasn't worked, and it's they're told that it's impossible, that their problem is not solvable, that they're just going to have to deal with this and learn to cope with it. And I think that really sort of I'm trying to figure out a way to say this nicely, but it doesn't do a service to the person. They're suffering with an issue. They want to solve a problem and not looking beyond or exploring things that maybe are novel or on the cusp or cutting edge or fringe to find a solution. Uh, There are plenty of people out there that are doing amazing things and pushing science forward. So just keep looking. So in this past few segments here, we talked about, uh, you know, the, the issues behind the bedroom door, the statistics on how sexual dysfunction affects not only men, Men, but also women to a equal, if not greater, percent. Also shared ec- uh, exercise tips on high-intensity interval sprinting and lifting weights in terms of testosterone. In the subsequent section, talked a little bit about some nutritional things that are cofactors for hormone production, and particularly for the purposes of this men's health-focused segment, testosterone production. Uh, shared a little bit about some of the herbs and some of the things that are a little bit more fringe from anecdotal and some science behind it as well. Obviously, do your own diligence. This is an educational podcast. I'm not telling anybody listening to this to take a particular substance. That's something that needs to be coordinated and measured and discussed with somebody who knows your unique physiology, medical history, and medications. Next, moved on to some biohacking things involving red light and cryotherapy. Fascinating, fascinating science. If uh, you're not familiar with Wim Hof, the Iceman, just Google him. He's got several uh, world records, and what he's been able to demonstrate with cold therapy and physiology is just is truly mind-boggling. I also shared some data on sound wave therapy, whether it's for erectile dysfunction or Peyronie's disease and how that works and can really improve and change uh, life for a number of people. And then I combined that with some PRP and stem cell discussion and some novel therapeutics that are being used to treat more refractory cases of ED or to deal with people who not, don't necessarily want to take a pill. I think the tendency in, in the U.S. at least is to prescribe a pill, and if that doesn't work, or if there's a side effect, then you prescribe another pill to take care of the side effect of the first one, and on it goes, and it's not really a viable solution. The concept of precision medicine or omics is this. You are N of 1, and if you look at a standard bell curve distribution, people lie on the ends of either spectrum, and those are actually, you know, cut off, avoided, ignored, however you want to view it. And the mean, the middle point is what's focused on. And so a lot of people fall outside the boundaries. And so what is often deemed as standard therapy or quote normal doesn't take into account a whole host of people that are either below or above for a variety of reasons, whether that's genetics, uh, hormones, lifestyle, and to try to use the common standard approach for those people oftentimes is met with uh, disappointment, or worst case scenario, disaster, but most often frustration. And so really having a precision approach to each person, their unique problem, whether it involves some genetic testing, obviously hormonal testing is vital for what the the point of this segment and these previous eight sessions were about. And so it's really finding somebody who wants to partner with you to find a precise answer for your unique situation. So I hope you found this helpful. As always, uh, let me know if you have any questions. And please, please, uh, no more gas station medicine, no more horny goat weed or I can't even think of the names of all the things that I've seen in the last week because I've been specifically looking at them and chuckling at them and uh, feeling a little bit uh, remiss that people are actually uh, spending and wasting their money on these things. So as always, have a fantastic week. Be safe, be well, and I'll talk to you soon.